I'm here in Koh Samui for the first time. I have seen many of the islands in Thailand and I have spent three months in the neighboring island Koh Phangan, which I love very much. But now it's time to finally give you my first impressions of Koh Samui. And by the end of the video, you will know if it's still worth to travel here to Koh Samui or if it's better to just go to Koh Phangan. I will later show you more about this Airbnb I'm staying, which is pretty insane value for money. But first I will get my scooter and go around a little bit, get some food and plan my days. The new PCX was pretty good price here, 500 baht per day, so not bad, not the cheapest, but it was easy to deliver it here. And yeah, one thing about Koh Samui is that it's quite much bigger than Koh Phangan, so we'll see if it's a little bit too far to drive to places, or if it's just really nice that there's more options for everything. I came to check out this crystal beach. Some people say that this is the most beautiful beach in Koh Samui and definitely it looks very beautiful here. It's definitely a very pretty beach. Also very busy here, but it's still not too bad. I mean, it's high season. Based on this, I would say that uh, Koh Phangan is definitely more beautiful beaches and cliffs and everything than here, but it's still, it's very beautiful here also. Like uh, it's just comparing very good to very, very good basically. But yeah, I really didn't expect that it's gonna be this busy on this beach. Maybe in the morning it's less busy now, it's afternoon. I definitely need to check the main beach also. If it's even more busy there, let's see how crazy it gets. And also there's probably a lot of like water activities and stuff like that on that beach. So I'm excited to also see all the things you can do there. I came to check out this one cafe close by and the view is incredible. <laughs> it's so nice. Seems like a really good place to work and the food options looked nice also. We'll see. And the Wi-Fi, of course, it's quite fast as almost always in Thailand. But yeah, the view is definitely the highlight of this place really beautiful it's an organic cafe so a little bit more expensive also with this view but can't complain the food is also really really good and tasty here so yeah good first meal in Koh Samui. and uh, when I was driving here the roads here seems way more busy than in Koh and even if I'm not exactly in the main area now but yeah still like big roads as usually in Thailand so it's easy to still drive not too bad I'm just planning here some activities for later there's some things that I'm super super excited to do here it's just seems like there's so much to do in Koh Samui but we'll see if it's too touristic activities or if it's actually like really awesome island you can do so many things here I just drove like 30 minutes to come to this beach that you can watch sunset from because it's a little bit struggle here in Koh Samui. I don't really understand like it, there's nowhere to watch sunset in the main area where you can stay. So you need to basically come quite far as long as I understand. I couldn't find any place that would be closer. It's really beautiful here and it seems more like local and relaxed vibe here. It's really nice. But yeah, the drive here, it was quite exhausting. Like it just reminds me of Bali, just driving through a lot of traffic and this kind of road with no nature or anything. It's just not a nice experience. Very different than in Koh and when you drive somewhere, it's shorter drive and it's just palm trees around. It's just really relaxing and no traffic. Uh, so it's, yeah, definitely very different than in Koh Phangan. There's so many sunset spots really close by. And I love to watch sunset every day. So I don't know, it seems like this might be the biggest downside of Koh Samui for me. We'll see later. Apparently there's even some kind of beach bars on this beach, but it's still so nice. I wish this was just a little bit closer to where I stay. But I still think that where I stay is pretty perfect area. It's like middle of the two main areas to stay on the east side. So it's pretty close to everything and cruising around uh, those like coastal roads in that area is really the full freedom. It feels so good. It's really amazing and so beautiful area. I just had to stop here for coconut. It's so beautiful. It's really an incredible spot. So beautiful. And the bar is also so nice. Looks really 
really nice there. The vibe is incredible. But also the most expensive coconut I have had in Thailand. I mean, it's still worth this really beautiful place. And actually the best coconut I also had, but yeah, a little bit more expensive than in Kopangan. And yeah, that's kind of what I heard about Koh Samui, that is more expensive here than anywhere else in Thailand. So we'll see if that's true for everything else. I will show you all the prices for everything during this video also. I came to a night market just quickly before I go to a beach club. I think the biggest one in Koh Samui because they have apparently a really good fire show. So I definitely want to see that while I'm here. But now the mission is to find uh, mango sticky rice. I went around the whole place before I found it. <laughs> yeah. Our first mango sticky rice this year in Thailand. Somehow in Koh Phangan this year I didn't take it at all. It's not the healthiest choice but it's just so good. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I'm almost tearing up. The mango is so so sweet and so juicy. Okay, I don't know what happened. Apparently, Friday, even 8, uh, 9 p.m., it's not very busy in Arc Bar. The other bars seem to be more popular nowadays. I was wrong, I learned something. But the fire show was cool. I probably left way more early, but they say that the fire show is until 11 p.m. So probably it's gonna be better later in that case, I guess. But yeah, I was surprised that it wasn't that busy and also I was surprised there was no payment or anything. I didn't pay anything because I didn't even order a drink uh, because I wanna sleep. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the road when I drove here, it was crazy. I didn't know in Koh Samui it's also like that. It really looks like Phuket or Bangkok or something. A little bit crazy. <laughs> going there not really for me but yeah if you like that you have that here too today I came here to Samui Elephant Sanctuary it's gonna be a few hours tour it was 3,000 baht total so it's more expensive but hopefully it supports the elephants we're just making some food for them now and then later we will go to the jungle yeah i'm super excited it's definitely like a must-do activity in thailand in this like a really ethical sanctuaries where they save the elephants basically from bad work they were doing and now they can live freely here and get some good food they have and they eat 10 percent of their body weight every day right this place looks like paradise that's what i'm gonna do later today also <laughs> go to a spa this is elephant spa and all the elephants are like 60 years old so they're actually really old and now it's time to give you a full tour of my airbnb and the price and everything it's quite small there's no kitchen but it's big enough and good enough and the design is nice for short stay or even long stay if you eat out the view is of course the <laughs> best part is really beautiful it's really amazing there's no table here inside but if i stay longer i would take the table from outside to here but somehow the wi-fi doesn't work at all which brings me to the topic that internet access can be quite unreliable while you travel especially in southeast asia sometimes the wi-fi in the hotels just doesn't really work so well and you also need internet while you're going around because you need to find directions you need to order a grab or uber when you arrive to the country so what is the solution so basically you can use data roaming that that would be very very expensive or you can get a local sim card but it doesn't solve all the problems sometimes it's a little bit struggle but there is a better solution Holafly eSIM which happens to be the sponsor of this video. Holafly eSIM is a hassle-free and cost-effective alternative to accessing data while traveling. There are so many benefits of using Holafly eSIM. You can see more on the website and the setting up is very simple. But yeah, they have over 170 countries covered. So you're basically anywhere you go, you're definitely good to go with Holafly. And they even have this Asia plan that is really useful if you, for example, hopping on and off different countries in Southeast Asia so for 20 days you can just one time purchase this eSIM and any country you will arrive you already have a working data there which is really really handy it, it's the best solution for sure but let's say you're just going to Thailand for nine days you can easily purchase the eSIM for exactly that amount of time and you can use my discount code Yose the Nomad to get a discount of your Olafly eSIM go check it out the first link in the description but now back to the video and this is the pool area it's really beautiful beautiful nice pool some area to chill 
with ocean view of course it's really amazing and there's some kitchen area also so you can cook here in the shared kitchen also yeah it's it's pretty nice what it seems like there's just so many more options in Kosamui for really nice apartments even like uh, they have cheaper apartment buildings that are more modern and clean than in Kopangan so that's really nice here you can this place is a little bit more expensive it's 80 dollars per night but of course good location and ocean view and beautiful and everything so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive there's so many nice looking villas on the hill here also I think in Kosamui there's just so many villas like that also it's, damn it's hot here I don't know why it feels like it's so much more hot than in Kopang and I'm really sweating in Kosamui the whole time and I'm back in my apartment I forgot to show the bathroom there's some space also here so that's nice and the bathroom is quite small but it's still clean and nice nice design and I realized when I was showering it's actually pretty nice to have some tropical view <laughs> while showering The next spot today is Overlap Stone. It's really <laughs> cool stone. It's an incredible viewpoint. I drive here like 20 minutes from where I stay. It's in the Lamai area. There's also some other things I want to check in this area. Uh, but yeah, I was so surprised. Like the Lamai town, I thought it's like a little town <laughs> that is famous for like vegan food and stuff and yoga. But it's so big, like there's a big main road, like in Bali, in Changu, like I was very surprised. The views are really incredible here. Similar than in Kopangan, in the viewpoint, it was even better there, but it's also really unique here, how the <laughs> rock is sitting here like this. But uh, yeah, I was surprised that it's not actually like middle of Changu, like in Kopangan, there's like uh, some buildings and town around here. But uh, still, it's really, really cool place to come check it out yeah it's 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 really beautiful here and I find it quite surprising that there's almost no one here just few people coming quickly here I think uh, in Kopanga it was way more busy than here Quick lunch here in Wild Tribe Cafe in Lamai. It looks really good food, let's see how it is. I mean, I already destroyed like most of the protein smoothie bowl I had, but I uh, also got the panang curry, some Thai food, it's my favorite. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's so many food options in Koh Samui. I feel like in Lamai there's also many in the main area. And that's good about Samui that it's a little bigger, there, there's more options for everything. And in this area there's of course all gyms and spas and supermarkets and everything. So you can definitely stay in this area, no problem. But I don't know, like the beach doesn't seem to be that special. And I was surprised that, yeah, as I said, it, it's not so like a small town. So not really, it doesn't feel like it's my vibe really. So far, any of the areas that I really like, I like Kopangan much better when it comes to the bigger areas to stay. But uh, the area where I stay now is just so beautiful there, so <laughs> that's definitely really nice. Okay, I am at the main beach now. Chaweng is the name, and it's kind of exactly how I expected. <laughs> There's a lot going on, it's even hard to find a place to sit without paying. But uh, the water is actually really looking nice here. It's quite beautiful beach, like generally it's not bad, but it's just very busy and yeah, not peaceful at all and not specifically beautiful in any special way. Yeah, I don't know, I definitely wouldn't stay in this area, uh, it's just not <laughs> what I'm looking for, but if you want to be middle of all the happenings, then yeah, I think it's good. But it really reminds me of like Bali's older areas, like same than Lamai, but it's a little bit, uh, yeah, not really... Not my kind of vibe, but uh, I think Crystal Beach was really beautiful and that area is quite nice to stay. But yeah, stay tuned for the full review opinion if it's still worth to come here in the end. But so far it's uh, not sure. It's quite wavy on this area also, which is kind of nice, uh, but not so relaxing. But yeah, it feels so good to swim after a long day exploring so i ordered some food it's a vegan version of one of the thai foods I, i'm not sure it, i really like it i eat it in a uh, crappy anywhere it's really good usually and some juice it didn't go as planned because i was super excited that there's grab here in Koh Samui because in Kopangan there's not and the food delivery is quite hard to do it 
costs more money, sometimes it doesn't work, it's, they have their own app. So I was super excited you can just order Grab so easily, but it, <laughs> it didn't work. It just kept extending the estimated time, I could cancel it. And I messaged the restaurant and they said they didn't get any order and then apparently there was no drivers, uh, so that's the reason. But yeah, finally I got the order because they themselves delivered for me. So yeah, it wasn't actually, I don't know if it's always like this in Kosamui, but it doesn't seem like it's any better when it comes to ordering food. But there's still some ways that it seems like Kosamui is still way better for long-term place. Like if you want to set up your life, for example, here instead of Kopangan, because of course, like uh, it's bigger island, there's airport here, so you can easily go on and off here. And also there's, for example, big mall that is really, really really nice i went there last night it's so beautiful like there's so much there and it's very handy of course that you can buy anything if you need for example i needed to buy a new microphone so i i, I got it from there easily i got some bags i was searching for a while so yeah it's really nice it's of course not like a it doesn't make your life much better, but it's really useful to have. I just wanted to mention that this view has been amazing to have every morning to wake up to this and it's just really beautiful. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really tired today because the bed is the most uncomfortable I ever had. It's just it's so hard to sleep. The pillow is like this, this thin and so hard and there's no blanket. And just, I just couldn't sleep here. Uh, so not the perfect experience. This morning I came here to Luma in Lamai. It's like a sauna place with a lot of things. It looks so beautiful here. And I came <laughs> right when they open at 10 a.m. So there's no one else here, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, they have this like big area with restaurant and area to chill and big pool and everything. I think you can have massage there also. It's a really big area. And then they have this smaller area for the saunas and little pools and everything there's hot pool here like jacuzzi and then cold pool and then there's even like a, i think super cold ice pad that they're preparing now and the saunas and this sauna is a dry sauna with himalayan salt looks really big and nice and there's also steam sauna there it's really nice to have this kind of spa sauna places in Kosamui. there's a couple for example also health lab seems really nice there's many sauna places in Kopangan also but it's not like this it's not like a really <laughs> high-end experience like this so it's just so relaxing that you really want to just like spend the whole day here I, I really love these kind of places but yeah it's also a little bit more expensive here of course the experience it's way more also and there's of course so many other things you can do in Kosamui. you can even go zip line and there's a lot of boat trips for example to big island there's even pigs on a beautiful island here so there's kind of endless things to do you can also go to kotao for a day trip or weekend trip or kopangan so yeah it's, there's a lot to do which is really amazing but comparing to kopangan and also i was really thinking about phuket because this place really reminds me of phuket that I find that I didn't really like Koh Samui as much. I like it a lot, like it's really beautiful, it's really amazing. But uh, for similar vibe, similar place where you can do so many different things, I would maybe prefer Phuket personally, but I think many people would prefer Koh Samui, so it really just depends. But comparing to Koh Phangan, I, I would say that definitely Koh Samui is place for many people, like uh, if you like to do shopping, if you like to go to beach clubs and go jet skiing and party and stuff like that, it's definitely better to maybe come here. I mean, there's a lot of different parties in Kopangan also, but it's just a little bit different vibe here. And also Kopangan is definitely for people who are more spiritual, want to do yoga. And also if you want to have more relaxing time and just be more in the nature and in a peaceful environment, definitely go to Kopangan, not to Koh Samui. So it really depends what you want but I personally like Kopangan a lot more it's just really nice that it's like a little bit smaller and it's more relaxed and chill and more nature and just like a tropical little island it's really amazing there so I hope you have better idea now for short stay long stay even being based in one of these islands which one is better for you feel free to ask any question I will answering in the comments like and subscribe and see you next week